To address the complex threats facing U.S. water resources, the Environmental Protection Agency recommends adopting a watershed approach. We're trying to reconnect some of the uh, river. It's a method that looks at each watershed for its own unique set of environmental challenges and solutions. In many cases, people mistakenly identify large discharge pipes in the water as the problem. But that may not be the problem. It may be coming from agricultural runoff. It may be coming from stormwater runoff over parking lots and impervious surfaces. Every watershed is different, and you need to look at each watershed in its own terms and then think systematically about how you remediate, how you clean up that watershed. In California, the Santa Monica Bay watershed drains a dangerous amount of polluted runoff after each storm. When it rains, literally the whole residue of urban living ends up getting washed into the storm drain system and ends up going straight into the bay on Santa Monica Bay's beaches with no treatment whatsoever. It's actually like a giant toilet flushing because all of the pollution, the dog mess has been building up and building up and building up. When it rains, it just flushes into the storm drain and goes directly into the, uh, the surf. In 1996, the Santa Monica Bay Restoration Commission proved there was a link between the contaminated runoff in the Santa Monica Bay and reports of illness afflicting people who swim there. What we did find was at the outlets of storm drains, no matter where they were up and down the bay, if there was a flow of runoff into the surf zone, those people that were swimming in those areas uh, definitely experienced higher incidences of illnesses. The pollutants in the water affect surfers because we're actually the indicator species with all the pollutants. Um, when we are in the waters, we're ingesting it through our skin and our mouth. Even if people don't take a swallow of water, it's still getting into our systems, our ears, any orifice on your body. And it causes infections, it can cause uh, colds, sore throats at the very least. I 